Hello there, this is Zach Wilde, and you're watching Loudwire. <laughs> Hey everyone, Guru Hamid here from Loudwire. It's Wikipedia fact or fiction time with a guest that you've all been asking for for such a long time, Zach Wild. Thank I'm you so much, you man. You got it, brother. There you go. Good to see you again, man. All right, so went through your Wikipedia page, uh, Ozzy's Wikipedia page, uh, Black Label, everything that oh, I could possibly find. To see how close find. this thing yeah, is? Yeah, to see what's real and what's false, because I believe you're well, a credible source things, on anyway, yourself. Just... I don't know. Says that you were born Jeffrey Philip Wyland in Bayonne, New Jersey. True. True. Okay, they do get that wrong sometimes. Uh, it said in high school you would play guitar nonstop between coming home from school and leaving for school the next morning, and then to make up for the sleep, you would just sleep through the entire school day. But yeah, it would be, well, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't sleep through the entire school day. I mean, I, I, I but it would be rough the next day. You know, A good I, I mean, chunk of the day. Yeah, I'd, I'd practice all night long, and then you know, looking at old pictures of, you know. Jimmy Page, St. Rhodes, and you know all our favorite guys: Al Demiola, Frank Marino, John McLaughlin. Uh, you know, so I'd, I'd and I'd just be practicing all night. So, I'd, but I'd get to school the next day, and I'd, what I'd usually do is put, like, you know, if I had Circus Magazine, I'd put that in my books. And oh, then, oh and it's then a classic. Like, you know, of then I'd bring my all my my scale books and my theory books, and I'd I'd put that inside my books. You know, like while we're <laughs> in class. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, without a doubt. But I mean, but uh, yeah, it'd be it'd be kind of rough the next day, you know what I mean? So it was pretty brutal. Definitely. Okay, fact. Uh, it said that. But you I did graduate high school, though. So you I did. did. I did, did say that. Yes, I did, man. Very good. It said you were recruited to join Ozzy Osbourne's band simply after sending him a demo tape in 1987. No, I was Ozzy's steroid dealer at the time. Ozzy steroid yes, dealer. And I met okay. him at a powerlifting contest, and. Uh, I was just, you know, we were talking about guitar, and somebody says, hey, Zach, man, you know, we were talking about guitarists, and he was like, oh, you play guitar? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, dude, he goes, how about if you give me a deal on the steroids, I'll oh. let you play in my band. And the rest is history. Exactly. All right, drugs, kids. That's your way into everything you want to do with your life. Hey, steroids help with the man mood as well. So you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's a healthy thing. Just don't abuse them. Ozzy's don't still kid. alive, so it must have been good. <laughs> uh, your Gibson Les Paul custom guitars with the bullseye graphic on them were designed to differenti differentiate yourself visually from Randy Rhodes. Oh, of course. Well, St. Rhodes is, you know, definitely one of my heroes. Icon, so, uh, of course. As I think pretty much everybody my generation and everything like that, we all love St. Rhodes. So, uh, no, but that's the reason why I wanted to get a Les Paul. So he was one of them. Yeah, Jimmy yeah. Page, uh, Al Demiola, and St. Rhodes, you know, had, had the Les Paul. So, uh, um and John McLaughlin had it when he did uh, Intermounting Flame, so uh, with Mahavishnu. So, no, it's just, it, well, it's the cream less ball, and I got the blonde hair already, you know, so, I mean, uh, it was just like, well, what can I do? It was just like, what I wanted to get, because obviously King Edward had the, the stripes, mm -hmm. St. Rhodes had the polka dot, so what I wanted to get was the, the vertigo design. Right. Uh, like Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. I remember my buddy Max, when he painted the guitar, he did the bullseye, and I go, Max, I wanted the vertigo on it. Right, uh, yeah. He goes, oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so then we had a photo shoot that, the photo shoot was that day. So okay. that's when I used the bullseye, and then that's, that was the rest of it was history, man. Were, were you cool with it, or were you holding up the guitar at the shoot like, eh? No, I was just like, well, dude, I asked for the vertigo. You gave me the bullseye, man. Uh, the Osmosis album said that Steve Vai was originally slated to perform guitar on the album after writing a number of songs but left the project due to a falling out with Ozzy. No, him and Ozzy are still buddies. All right, there's some uh, fiction so, uh, for yeah, you. without a doubt. Yeah. No, there's no fun. I, I, and actually, I just always ran, I was rolling with Steve not too long ago when we did the uh, yeah. benefit for Tony McCall. Yeah, Steve's awesome. And Steve's friends with Ozzy, still buddy. Good, good. In 1995, you auditioned for Guns N' Roses and were successful. Well, it's not so much audition, it's just like we all kind of know each other. And it's like, guys, you know, Axel called me up and was like, and I know Slash, when I first joined uh, Oz, we'd be drinking and everything like that. So uh, when Appetite was exploding and everything, and then hanging with Steven and Duff and all the guys. So, uh, but uh, I never met Izzy or anything like that. But the whole thing is, um, no, Axel called me up and was like, Zach, you want to get together in the jam? You know what I mean? I said, yeah, it'd be great, man. So, you know, we just went down there and, and I love Slash's playing. It just, you know, I mean, to me, there's nobody else that could play, but you listen to the November Rain solo, Sweet Child of Mine, I mean, it's just, it, it, they're masterpieces, you know what I mean, like Jimmy Page type stuff, it's just, it's perfect. You know, uh, you were offered to join Guns N' Roses, but you had 
this is what it said. It had, you needed to take some time to think about accepting it or not. And then un, Ozzy was unable to wait for your decision, so he brought someone in new. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, Oz was just like, Zach, are you, you going to do the thing or not? I said, Oz, I'll try and get a, I'll try and get a decision for him, you know what I mean? Because I was like, guys, I can't let the boss hang him. Without the boss, I wouldn't even be talking to anybody, you okay. know what I mean? So, yeah, but, you know, that's, that's pretty much what went down. So it was them, they, they were trying to decide, not so yeah, much you. you know, I mean, or no, it was just like, are we going to work or not? You yeah. know what I mean? Or what are we waiting on, man? Let's just, let's get to work. Right. You know I mean, so, uh, I mean... I mean, I don't, I don't like going on vacations. I don't like sitting around. I don't like doing, you know, chop, chop, let's, you know, let's roll. You know, so, uh, but no, it was just, nothing was going on. And Oz was like, Zach, I can't be waiting around. So, sure. you know, and that's when, that's when he, he ended up getting Joe. All right, there you have it. Uh, Sonic Brew, uh, Johnny Walker Whiskey uh, issued you a cease and desist order to change the album's yeah, cover. I figured, I figured for sure. They're like, oh, great, they, you know. It's like, we'll have more, this is just more advertisement for us. But right. they were like, listen, we don't want to be, have anything to do with you subseptic scumbags to just Sub take our album cover. They'll fuck off your shit. <laughs> so <laughs> we're trying to run a reputable, a reputable brewing company. The whole thing is, our alcohol is high end. <laughs> you... Oh, a subseptic scumbag, <laughs> and get your paws off our shit. <laughs> that's what happened. That's what happened. But they happened. said it very nicely, though. Yeah, yeah. They were very nice. <laughs> uh, it said uh, you lost your Grail guitar in 2000 after it fell from the back of a truck, uh, but you got it back three years later when a fan bought it at a Dallas pawn shop, uh, and to return it, he bartered with you in exchange for two other Les Pauls. No, no, no. He, he brought the guitar, and I got him one of my signature guitars. Super okay, cool so brother. He goes, yeah, Zach. He goes, when I, I bought it at the pawn shop for 250 bucks, and he goes, when I took the, the pickup ring off, I, see the pickup? He goes, it had a ZW in it. And I, I was like, and then after reading that, it fell off the back of the truck, and then we were in doubt. He goes, I knew this was your guitar, dude. And, it, you know, he just goes, I, I called, you know, and being the fine Irish Catholic that he was, you know, he called, he called up management, and, uh, he was like, dude, I got Zach's fiddle, man. He's, you know, I just want to give it back to him. So, you know, I was just like, dude, I got to hook you up with, you know, one of my signature guitars. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, a really super cool guy. He came down with his wife and everything like that. So, uh, it was awesome, man. Cool. God bless him. Yeah, nice guy. Did, didn't awesome. barter for Good it back. People, just man. gave. Good people, brother. Absolutely. Uh, Blessed Hell Ride. Uh, the Japanese bonus track, Fun, is a joke song recorded while you and Craig Nunnenmacher yeah, were messing around in the studio. Adelaide, Father Craig, oh. <laughs> yes. You guys were messing around in the studio and parodying cheesy hair metal party lyrics. Uh, not even. No. It, was just, it was just us being a bunch of morons. It was just Drunken for... idiots. So yeah, just having a good time. All right, no, no ties to the hair. I don't think, like. That song's so ridiculous, I don't think you can mock anybody. I mean, it's just... <laughs> No one sucks that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's a bonus track, I guess. Uh, boozed, bruised, and broken boned. During the recording of the show, the bar ran out of alcohol. Yes. Yes. At Harbors. Well done. I think it was said something that was like the first time that ever happened in a place in like 23 years or whatever. Uh, but um, and when they first got a liquor license or whatever it was. But I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yes, the Detroit chapter. Enjoys adult <laughs> beverages. <laughs> it's safe to say. Well yeah, done. because at the end of the night, I was just like, um, our tour manager, Father Tim, I was like, let them do, can you see if you can grab an extra case of beer or if they have like a bottle of Crown we could buy or whatever, you know yeah. what I mean? And <laughs> he came back out, he was like, there's nothing left. <laughs> I go, they how could there be nothing it. left, bro? How could they have no booze? And he goes, it's gone. <laughs> Every ounce and stitch of booze is gone in this place. I was like, wow. <laughs> wow. They enjoy the adult highball. And that's <laughs> good, good for the fans, too, because the more you spend at the bar to show, the more venues will want the artists to come back. <laughs> so very, very good. Well, well done, Detroit. Well, let's put it this way. You know the promoter, that owner of that bar, wanted us to come back. That's Dude, sure. he, he must have been over <laughs> the oh, moon. Oh, some black happy. label people? No problem. Oh, please, more of it. <laughs> Residency at the Detroit bar. <laughs> uh, it said back in 2004 and 2005, you had to audition to rejoin Ozzy's band. No, you don't well, re-audition. Who does yeah, that? Yeah, I thought that was weird. 
No, if you're, if, you're, if you're not playing, if me and you were jamming together and you're rolling with Black Label, and then you get the gig with, you know, you're going, you're doing some residency with Celine Dion for like, you know, like Zach, I'm doing that gig for six months in Vegas. Yeah, but then again, you know, this way you can pay for your wet bar and your, your Malibu sure. mansion. You know, so you yeah. roll with Celine for a little bit. You always have a home back with Black Label. And then, you know, then when Jeffy leaves to go, you know, uh, you know, because he's, he's the same thing with Jeff, you know, between the roids and the man root enhancer, you know, doing these, he's power lifting in the U.S., you know, for the U.S. Olympic team. Uh, then you come back and you're playing drums. You don't re-audition. You're just playing with the band again, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. More we haven't falsehood. seen you in a while. <laughs> Good to see you again. You know, yeah. like you know, uh, yeah. Hey, you know, put it this way: Lawrence Taylor gets traded to the Philadelphia Eagles. When he comes back as a New York Giant, when the contract's over, he doesn't re-audition <laughs> for the New York Giants. He just here's your jersey, here's your locker. Let's go, let's go do this. Yeah. Makes sense. Hey, you don't re-audition. <laughs> You're back. Uh, you know, like how I was. I don't think he had to re-audition for Black Sabbath. No. Yeah. I, mean, I don't just, think that happened. I think it's just kind of, well, I'm back. Guys, it's time to Let's come back. Let's do this. <laughs> Simple as that. I remember you can play the songs. Exactly. Right. Uh, it says one Dean guitar in your collection is a Dime Series Razorback with custom uh, bullseye graphics ordered for you specifically by Dimebag Daryl shortly before his passing. And since receiving the guitar, you've only ever used it on stage to play in this river. Uh, yes. That's true. Yes, I have. Yep, okay. That's true. I still got her, you know, sitting in my guitar room. So yeah, and it's dime. It's dime's handwriting on the back of the headstock. Yeah. So yes, uh, definitely a, a crown jewel in my guitar collection for sure. So you bring that one on tour. That's the special one for. Uh, no, actually, uh, dime's given me several guitars. So, oh you know, yeah. I mean, yeah, without a doubt, and they're all I cherish every one of them. Now. Absolutely. Uh, it said that you parted ways with Ozzy again in 2009 because Ozzy felt his songs were beginning to sound too much like Black Label Society. Um, you know, Oz said, he goes, Zach, and he goes, listen, the songs are starting to sound too much like Black Label. Black Label sucks, <laughs> and I can't be around this. <laughs> You've got to leave. And that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> he said, I still love you, and I'll still be the godfather of Jesse John Michael. But... Take your suck and get out of here. <laughs> in August 2009, you were hospitalized due to blood clots. After the hospitalization, <laughs> you stopped drinking alcohol and haven't drank since. Yeah, it was just, uh, you know, he just, um, well, the doctor, I, you know, with, with the blood clots, I said, well, doc, I, uh, I said, well, how, do, how do I get this? I, I go, blood clots. I figure you get this way when you're like 80, 90 years old, you get blood clots. He right. goes, well, no, Zach, he goes, you know, I mean, you can get it if you're a truck driver, if you're, you know, airplane pilot, you know, if you're stationary in any, any, at length of time. You sure, know, sure. You, you could be susceptible to it. I said, wow. I go, well, I don't really want to do that much. Sit. I go, you know, I work out, do cardio, lifting up on stage for the two hours, whatever it is, hour and a half we do, whatever. And he, he goes, I go, but then again, I thought about it. I go, well, when I'm practicing, I'm sitting down. And when we're at the piano, you're sitting down. And then when me and you were at the Irish pub, we're sitting down. Yeah. Then we're back to practice and we're sitting down. Then when we're back at the Irish pub, we're sitting down. Then when we're back at the Irish pub, we're sitting down. So, you know, I go, yeah, there was kind of a lot of sitting down going on. I go, but he goes, let me ask you this, Zach. He goes, did, did your parents have this? I said, well, I don't know, Doc. I said, they're both up in God's Tavern, so I can't tell you whether uh, I got it from my mom and dad. And he just goes, well, I don't know how to say this. And I had the immortal beloved with me when I was at the doctor's office. And she goes, I don't know how to say this because as a doctor, I don't think it's right, but if you got this from your parents as if this was hereditary, then that means all your years of drinking and thinning your blood may have saved your life. You and really I, turned say the, that? I turned to the immortal blood and I said, see, drinking is good for something. So I just stopped. She, she didn't laugh at all. But. Nah, uh, there was no laughter in the peanut no, gallery. So, no. uh, but anyways, <laughs> <She's just like laughs> anyways, uh, oh, that no. was the, yeah, that was the that was pretty much the end of the uh, the drink and run for that one. And you know, because people always ask, they say, Zach, do you you have to have a good support system with it. You know, I mean, now that you're not drinking anymore. And I said, well, yeah. I said I do. I said the fellas, you know, we're out on the road. They go, hey, look at Zachy. You know, we had a great drinking partner for twenty plus years. It was a good run. We won several championships. 
right. Several world titles. You went to several Pro Bowls. Listen, it's a shame you can't drink anymore. But listen up, we'll be at the Irish pub. Come pick us up in about an hour and a half. We gained a designated driver jerk off. So that was pretty much about it. And uh, yeah, I just have a good black label cry every now and then and just crawl oh. in the corner. So, uh, so, but uh, no, I haven't had a stitch of alcohol since then, man. There you go. There's some facts I, for I you. I do sniff a lot of glue and I, uh, and I, and I do chew the on Viagra, you do the Kim chips, Kardashian. Paint chips as well. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> the crunchy ones. I like them. I sprinkle crunchy. them on my eggs. You know, it's good. It's protein. And, you know, and the results are pretty much the same. I wake up in the morning with my pants around my ankles, and the fellas all tell me I had a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much nothing's really changed. I got to thank you so much for coming by. Truly appreciate I, your time. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. Book good of you, Shadows 2 is coming. Check it out, please. It's wonderful. Zach Wilde, Cheers, everybody. Everybody.